focus on, on an interesting development. First of all, there will be in the new Knesset more women than ever before, 28, one more than was in the prior one, 27. But we also saw during this campaign the rise of um, a group of ultra-Orthodox women, Haredi women, who are really seeking some kind of electoral voice. And although none of them got elected, I'm just wondering what kind of long-term impact you think that this movement may have on Israeli society. Esther, have you been following this? Yes, yes, I have, and I found it to be an extraordinarily exciting development. Um, I think Haredi women, like modern Orthodox women, um, have found that they can't wait to get permission to have their voices and needs heard, that they need to take matters into their own hands, and I think that this was a very exciting first step in that endeavor. Um, I think we need to be finding ways to support them. Um, if they reach out to us, we want to be there for them, and hopefully in the next election they'll be more successful. But this was certainly a very positive and uh, welcome first step for them. But an awfully hard thing for them to do, considering that Haredi newspapers won't even publish their photographs. <laughs> it is amazing, but, but they will publish their ads. Well, yes. Because they have weren't, to. weren't they forced to? Wasn't right. Wasn't that were, a, a legal thing? Yeah. Yes, but it, it doesn't matter how, but they do. But that is that. I mean, everything is a step forward. And I think, you know, what's in, to your point is it depends what your metric for success is. If success is getting elected, then this wasn't successful. But if success is being heard, being seen, pushing forward, and, you know, and, and establishing yourself and your rights and your desire to have those rights and exercise those rights, I, this felt like, like a really big deal to me. I would say even the backlash that they encountered from Haredi community and Haredi men is a sign of their success. Right. That means right. that their voices are getting heard and they're perceived as, in some sense, being a threat. When they're not ignoring you, you're doing something right. Yeah. I guess so, but I'm just sort of wondering, to play devil's advocate here for a moment, if we aren't grasping at something that may not be there. I mean, th they didn't get elected. Their, their status really hasn't changed in, the, in a community that you know, sees them in a very prescribed way. But that's what we wonder about mm -hmm. the suffragettes. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. like, oh, they'll never get anywhere. They don't have the vote. Why are they even bothering? And then they won.